What's up everybody, 915 Mang here doing a video today. Been a while, sorry I missed you guys last Sunday. But uh, let's go ahead and do this. Missed last week's uh, water change as well. But I'm going to go ahead and do it today, make some time for it. This A-can right here, I picked it up from uh, my LFS. This is the, uh, really nice. Had some cool colors and uh, they're starting to show again here in this uh, video. Let me get, I'll try to clean it up so you can see it a little bit better. But I picked that one up at the Coral Reef. Kind of put all the A-cans to the side and uh, have an A-can garden right there. This a can I picked it up from Tim several several years ago. That one, along with this one, this blue one. You can see they're nice and puffy. Got an anemone right here hanging out, and this Hollywood Stunner Chalice is gotten quite big. It's pretty big. Um, I really didn't notice how big because I had. Frag racks here, another frag rack there, you know, frag racks all over the place. Uh, but since then, I've moved them over to the uh, 40 gallon. Got some more eight cans. I really like how this one has grown. I just drilled some holes in the, the live rock, plugged it in there, and never fell out, and it just grew really nicely inside of the rock. But today, this is what I'm gonna try to do today for my project is get rid of a lot of these polyps. You can see they're just taking over. I did, you know, kind of scrub right here on this rock, but uh, I missed some of them. The zoas right there, scrambled eggs are doing really good since I've done that because they were encroaching all over them but now you can see <laughs> these things have grown all over the place it's not the look that i'm looking for i'm going to go ahead and pull them off and get them probably put them in a 40 or something like that right there this piece though this is a battle's coral Got this from Battles Coral, and uh, you can see the color on it is popping. And it's I think it was already encrusted on the frag plug, but if not, it's encrusting more. That white stuff is that Aquamax Reef Welder. Uh, you can pick it up at Marine Depot. Right there, it's doing good. Mystic right here, growing all over the overflow. The you can see that little hump right there is all that I put there, and then. It's slowly taking over the overflow, so hopefully it'll cover this whole entire overflow and I'll be sweet. And then I got some more Mystic right here hanging off of the edge. I think I might frag some of that and try to grow it in the uh, 40. These cloves, pretty badass cloves actually. They're stretching, but the, the color on them, they're pretty awesome. And then I have some more cloves. But you got to be careful where you put your clothes because if not, you're going to be all over the place. Duncan, doing good. I feed it. Check that out. It's pretty sweet, huh? And my clowns. I'm shooting this video early in the morning. I did take a nighttime video. I'll be putting that out later on. But these guys... Uh, jump around from an enemy to an enemy. From the last video, I, I did have it right there. And it has decided it wanted to move over here. That's cool. They look good. The Aptasia. See, here you go. Boom. Right there into the other clown. Aptasia, guys. Have it. I'm going to hit them again with the Calc Wasser. They did disappear. They don't die. It seems like they don't die. But I'm going to hit them again with some more... Uh, calc washer, and then it'll disappear again for another couple weeks. More 
more cloves right here, guys. These ones are pretty sweet. These are the papaya cloves. Got a little bit of orange in them and pink. I uh, really want to get some more cloves. Uh, even the regular simple green cloves just to have a combination. Now, this is what I like watching my Zoas. I like them just because of the colors, vivid colors. They seem to be doing really good. Check it out. And if I sound a little different, it's because I uh, picked up a microphone, put it on top of my camera, and uh, I got the microphone because my kid is in band. It's a uh, shotgun microphone. And uh, it's directional. I'm actually talking, you know, from behind the, the microphone, so uh, not really made for that. Check it out, guys. It's doing really good. Miami. I love the colors. And since they're doing really good, I'm, I don't want to move them around at all. These ones I picked up from my buddy Javier. What's up, Javier? They look better in my tank anyways. Just kidding, man. <laughs> Rastas. Doing good. I got you, Tim. Hopefully they grow and grow all over here. These guys also doing really good. These ones I got from Aqua SD a while ago. Uh, they're kind of just doing their thing. And this guy looks like he's recovering. So I'm just going to give you a long update of my corals. Uh, tell you what's going on. I picked up a new reactor. Um, from Marine Depot, it's, it's the Excel reactor. It's a monster. I'm gonna show it to you guys here. Uh, my plans though, you're probably like, well, you already have that Aquamax medium reactor, which is a good reactor. But what I'm planning on doing is making a uh, Chato reactor, a Chato reactor out of the Excel Reactor just because it's like 20 something inches tall and that would be perfect. This guy is loving it. Have an RW15 a few feet away. Well, not a feet, but actually inches away. And it's, uh, it's doing really good. Bird's nest right here. I should probably start fragging it, but I'm just gonna leave it alone. It's already bigger than a golf ball. Got some hair algae. Stylos. Stylos is doing really good. Right here, though. I have a little issue right here. I gotta test more often, guys. I think I have an elk issue, but we'll see. Some of this has definitely died. I do need to frag it, move it over. So that way, in case it takes off more, any more dyes, then I'll, I'll still have a few pieces of it. Green Slimer, you can see different uh, growth patterns, really cool. My red mandapora being affected by the alk issues. I'm not afraid to show you guys. This happens. Happens to the best of us. But check this out, guys. I broke off a little bit of green mandapora and it's plating again. And the reason I broke it off is because it was shading uh, my stylo. And I, I left a little bit of piece right there and boom, green and it's plating again. It's awesome. So th with the good, there's some bad, but uh, mostly good. This piece right here is doing really good. I did frag it. I moved some pieces over to my 40. 
uh, because they were getting shaded shaded by the live rock up here these uh there these suckers really nice but you can see they totally took over they're nice and pink but there's a little bit of this green I have some more of this green stuff which I'll probably frag it and just move it and let the pink take over but I have some more of that these guys are doing good regulars bird's nest right here I love it everything's out just you know early in the morning it's not too early guys but it's actually about the nine o'clock that I'm shooting this and this is how my tank looks. Right here at about 10 o'clock, that's when the white LEDs really start popping. Everything's kind of waking up because of the light. These ones, I guess they're watermelons. They're pretty awesome. Growing really well. Tubs blues. Some more of that pink stuff. Mushrooms. Some of the uh, Zoas that I picked up from uh, my reef to yours. Bubblegum, Digi. Probably need to move that. But it actually accidentally fragged. Uh, I think a snail got on there, broke it, I saw it. And I moved it somewhere else. Another piece of uh, candy cane that I picked up from the coral reef. I had been looking for this for a while and I finally found it and I found it pretty cheap there. Some more. Uh, I forgot the name of these ones, but they're pretty sweet. They're sweet. I can't wait till they grow out. More Zoas. Baby head of uh, Rasta coming in right there. I know Rasta's been out for a while, but you know I still like them. Probably get uh, some more Zoas or coral later on. Right now, I'm just in the growing stage get some more later on my uh, dendro coral right here it's a cool coral i've fed it maybe once this week because uh usually if you don't wake up before five o'clock that uh they start going in by then by five o'clock and i do wake up kind of early my firefish Love these guys. They're awesome. Pick those up from the coral reef. Pretty badass fish, actually. If you don't have some, I would highly recommend you get some. I got a pair. I'm glad I got a pair. I wish I would have got three, though. That would have been sweeter. Because, uh, you know, the fish, they'll swim around side to side, but these guys kind of stay in the center and fill in the tank with some movement. Go ahead and back up a little bit for you guys. Tank is looking sweet. I mean, I do have my tank issues. Who doesn't? But uh, I'm so far, I'm pretty happy with it. Sorry about that. Hold on. All right. Sorry about that. But uh, yeah, man, everything's cool. Tank is looking good. Despite, you know, me not testing, I guess the uptake of alkalinity is moving up since my corals are getting bigger. Remember, this tank has only been up since uh, January. You know, before that, I had the 120. If you're a new subscriber, I had the 120 for a while. It's custom made. I did like that tank, but uh, because of the silicone issues that I was having, I would see air bubbles. Just didn't want to take the chance. Doesn't mean that it can't happen to... Uh, brand spanking new tanks like mine but just on the air of precaution i went ahead and got a new tank um also what i'm doing i still running my algae turf scrubber it's starting to color up um i got it from santa monica filtration they sent it to me for free i'm trying it out i've had algae scrubbers before in the past um the downflow algae scrubbers but uh i just didn't like the salt spray because uh I did it. It was DIY, so, you know, it wasn't professionally made or anything like that. It doesn't have to be, but because of the salt spray all over the sump, I didn't like it. 
I'm going to go ahead and give you a shot of that. The only thing that I'm dosing in this tank right now um, with a doser is the uh, vinegar. I dose that. Um, I manually dose um, alkalinity, calcium. Uh, I throw some iodine in there. I'm not testing for iodine, which is a, you know, a big no-no. Whatever you dose, you should be able to test. Uh, I do have the test kits, but I just haven't, um, I don't use them. There they are, right there. Let's go ahead and take a look down, downstairs in the sump. And uh, I'll show you this scrubber and how it's doing and how the growth is going. And uh, I can't wait for it to grow. Um, I'll show you that right here in a second. But uh, I do want to show you these green pallies. I don't really like them. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and frag these. I started off with only one or two on this rock, and as you can see, they're quickly growing. So that's gonna get fragged. That's on my hit list, along with those daisy star polyps. And then my purple monopora right here, it's pretty sweet. This purple monopora is doing good. Um, you can see it's a slow, very slow grower, but it's finally growing. Um, I picked that up, traded that for a skimmer, and uh, and it was a really tiny piece, very, very tiny piece, like a tip of your pinky. But uh, now it's uh, probably almost a dollar, dollar size. Another piece that I want to hit up, guys, is right here. These pallies, these gold pallies I picked up from D back when he had his 400. Before the uh, 400 gallon tank crash, if you haven't seen that video, I'll go ahead and post the link right here. But these gold pallies are covering up my uh, red Ganapora, whatever's left of it. I think you can see a little bit of the red Ganapora. So I'm going to go ahead, get in there, cut this sucker up, and try to save my uh, red Ganapora. You know, it's just one of those things where you got to find time and maintain your tank. And then one other piece of coral that I uh, want to get rid of. But check this out. Hold on. Let me show you the good stuff first red the bubblegum digi right here the difference between the bubblegum digi which i picked up on uh, my reef to yours a while ago is that it has some blue and it has some red in there let's try to get that get it to focus and you can see right there but i can't wait till that grows because um it was expensive and it was like a little twig but it it has started to grow. Favia right here, also doing good, coloring up. Boom, looking good. I don't know what it's called, but I'll just call it candy corn. A mushroom and these lobos right here. Rainbow lobo, love it. But let's get back to the nuisance right here is, uh, got the name of it. But I'm going to cut that. I actually cut it down to the stem with the razor blade. Stuff comes back and uh, just grows into a big piece right here. Some more gold pallies. You can see they're covering up my new greens. I, have, I do have some new greens mixed up in there. I have some more green monoporas. And, of course, my little torch. Torch is doing really good. Boom, oh, looking good. Love it. I'd like to get a gold torch, but I'm pretty sure that it'd be ridiculously expensive. But they do look good for those of you that have them. The green one right there. I'm surprised these haven't died actually because uh, before that, these torches were dying. Uh, but that was when I first got into the hobby. My rock nam, pretty sweet. I'm glad it's still orange. And uh, the skirt though used to be like a nice, very nice blue aqua, aqua green. It was pretty sweet. But you can see some more of that nuisance. I, it fragged because I was using the uh, flipper cut itself. And then it's just stayed in that spot, which I need to pull that junk out. I have some different pallies right here. Back from when I started, these are the lone survivors, I guess way back 
but I'm gonna go ahead and show you the sump real quick. And uh, since I didn't give you an update last week, I'm gonna go ahead and make this update a long one. Fish, fish wise, they're doing good. You know, I don't know if I want any more fish. Maybe some blue green chromis, or maybe a third fire fish. But uh, tang wise, I think I'm done. And here comes the uh, white lights. Let me go ahead and cut this. Right now though, this side is white. This side is still blue. These are two reef breeders. This is the 24 uh, inch and then this is the 50 inch. The controller, when I got the 24 inch, I just set it, I just ran it towards this program, save, 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 everything, all the channels. And that's why there's kind of a delay. Um, it's not a big deal. And I really like these lights so far. No issues at all. Shop light. Mangroves, I need to move the mangroves over. I'm still running a skimmer. I have dogs. So these suckers are, uh, hair gets all over a pug. All right, this, the light from the algae turf scrubber, it's waterproof. And then there's the algae turf scrubber. You can't hear it though. You cannot hear it once the uh, top is on. Every time I open this though, my algae, my uh, auto top off goes off. Let me show you this, it's pretty cool. Boom, I'm holding this, not electrocuted or nothing. Uh, it's waterproof, you know, has to be waterproof. But pretty quiet. Microphone on this uh, camera though, might be picking up all kinds of noise. I still got a wire mess. And check it out. I still have not closed in my uh, tank. I like the open tank. I like looking at everything. And the pump right here is actually pretty quiet. But uh, like I said, this microphone is probably picking it up louder. Well, guys, hope you had a good one. Don't sit down and watch YouTube all day. Get outside a barbecue. Have a good one with the family. You guys take care. We'll catch you on the next one.